Okay, finally, we're in. We're good to go. Welcome, ladies and gents, to some Alpine Lakes, though the definition of lake is a bit of a stretch here, possibly, or lakes. Technically speaking, there's multiple, but if you know what this map used to look like way back in the day, they've changed it a lot. Um, the big talking point on this map is you've got four fish on one little pond uh, next to your town center on each side. There's no other access to water. And it's actually possible to take these fish with a mill. So you can dock if you wish to. That's always an option. But a lot of players like to mill it. We'll see what these 800 ELO players want to do. We've got some really nice names here. Obviously, 800 ELO, while it is technically low ELO legends, they've got a lot of talent these days, right? Got a lot of things that they can work on and things that they can improve, of course, but really solid rank to be at. We've got a thousand words over here playing as the Saracens. I don't know if that means that this player is going to be talkative in game and like say hello all the time and try and distract his opponent with words. That'd be kind of fitting. And then we've got sinister monster on the other side. So one person talks you to death and the other person's sinister and finds other ways to destroy. Um, Hindustani's here for sinister monster. Uh, great civilization. The cheaper villagers gets only cheaper throughout the whole game. Hamels that attack faster. If you want to deal with cavalry, a unique unit in the Ghulam, which is great against archers. Kind of a sieve that can do everything, or, or let, let's just say this, can counter everything pretty well. Um, isn't as good if you like to go out and like kill early. Um, for example, like you don't have knights. Um, so that is probably like the one weakness because knights can be pretty strong in Castle Age to go out and kill things. Um, still have scouts, still have archers, still have all that stuff if you want. And then Saracens, well, they do have access to knights. They do not get knights that are, uh, they, they do not get cavalier, excuse me, in the Imperial Age. Uh, but Saracens actually have crazy options as well, right? A lot of people don't attribute options with Saracens because there's some good bonuses with Saracens that you normally think of first, like the uh, market rates, for example. That's something people are always thinking about. Their archers destroying walls and buildings a bit faster is another thing that you talk along with that. But you get extra HP on your camels. You've got Arbalest. You've got Skirms. You've got Bomber Cannons. You've got Siege Ram. You've got Hussar. You've got Champion. You just have so many cool things. So actually, like an option Civ matchup, truthfully. Like these Civs are not really limited in many ways. Beyond just the fact that you don't see many of these um, games play out into nights very frequently. All right. Isn't a thousand words the FFX2 song? Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you, to be honest. That actually doesn't ring a bell for me. Don't uh, don't judge me on that. Uh, but, but yeah, maybe if I heard it, I would know. And look, guys, we have a mill for blue. So that's a hundred wood investment. And then you can just take the food, which is awesome. You know, this combined with, you know, your boars gives you a lot more food than you would normally have in a game because you've also got the berries too. Red is going to go for the dock and for some reason, what is this pathing, man? We're going to blame this on the game and not on red. Uh, but I don't know why the villager walked around there first. <laughs> That could have been a mishap of reds. But the nice thing is, is you can still take the shore fish with villagers here, right? Um, as reds having some issues with food underneath the economy, maybe you bring some villagers. Because docks are also drop-off points for shore fish. So yeah, you, you could send multiple vills here and add a couple fishing ships and you should be able to catch up or even get ahead with economy. Now, I think this is going to suit your more standard build orders. Like, I think players are more used to uh, doing what Blue has done, where you take your boars, your sheep, and you build a mill. In this case, Blue just didn't build a mill on berries, and Blue built it on fish. But yeah, uh, while Reds is more creative, it can be just as successful. As Blue has made some outposts on the hill and is going to wall on this side. I really like Blue's thinking here, protect the front. Keep some vision on it, and then protect everything else behind with some walling. Maybe a sign of the type of player Blue is. Maybe a sign that Blue wants to try Fast Castle, which I think you could actually get away with, because this is 250 food times 4. That's an extra 1,000 food, guys. That's right! I, I passed math, Mom! Finally! I did it! 
Um, not really, actually. I was horrible at math. But, uh, you know, that's basic math, I guess, by uh, an adult standard, possibly. <laughs> okay, my issue with school in general, in defense of, you know, whatever intelligence I actually have, uh, is, is just, like, I really couldn't get a passion for it. I don't know if anyone else can uh, relate to that. I wouldn't consider myself um, a stupid individual, but it was really hard for me to apply myself. I didn't see the value in it at all. Now that I'm a bit, like, more mature, only took me 29 years, now I'm like, man, I really wish I would have learned that skill. I really wish I would have done that thing, or I really wish I would have, you know, put some time into that and taken some pride into learning X, Y, or Z skill or class, whatever. Um... Uh, who knows, like, if I were to go back to school, what on earth I would do? I, I might not uh, have any interest in it, just as I didn't when I was in school. So, who knows, man? But I do have a lot of respect for people. I like how we started with math, and we've, we've taken this much further, but I do have a lot of respect for people who uh, put in a lot of work, learn different skills and whatnot, whether that be in school or just trades, whatever. Okay, more outposts here from Sinister Monster. Uh, so walling the side, but outposting the front. And we now have a stable from Sinister Monster, which is going to lead to a scout build. You would assume scouts are going to come out of that, and Red's going to hope to wall up before that happens. Red is still Dark Age. So my tip, if you're going to wall, is you make sure you complete those walls. <laughs> because otherwise you could have some big problems. And I think blue is currently auto scouting. So 800 ELO auto scout. Blue adding some gates behind. And there is actually going to be a hole here. That's something that takes experience to figure out. Hmm. No berries yet for blue, I've noticed. Blue's starting to float a lot of wood. And blue's now going to stonewall here too. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Great job from Red, though, to keep an eye on all the walls. There is going to be a gap here that Red needs to look for. Remember, if you ever want to find out if you have a hole in a wall, click a unit behind, and they will usually find that gap. Now, what I'd suggest for Red, and it's a baller move here, guys, is make fish traps. With all this wood, make fish traps once the fish is gone. This actually is built up perfectly for Red, because the fish is almost going to be gone, but he's also almost in feudal. And Blue has made another scout. Now, oh, something that Blue could think about in the long run in these games is, or, you know, like, the next time Blue plays this type of game, is you can use that starting scout when you're in feudal to do exactly this. The starting scout's always going to be stronger if you're in feudal. So this could have led to, you know, losing... Red, Red excuse me, losing the scout but also killing any villagers that were walling, right? So there was a time window there. There was a hole in the back of Red's base, and Red does not know. Red deleted the fishing ships! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was getting so excited for fish traps. Ah, oh, you've got so much wood. <laughs> Well, we don't need these anymore. The fish are gone. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it's 100 wood per fish trap, okay? And it's like 700 food or 800 food on the fish trap? That would have been so good. <laughs> but he probably just... He probably didn't think about it or he didn't know. And that's a learning lesson. This is why we cast Loey the Legend. Oh, my God. He just straight up deleted them. Well, don't need these anymore. All right. Um, Blue is seriously going... Oh, that's not an outpost. That's a scout. Okay. But Blue is now in Red's walls. And Red must be thinking right now, like, why? How is this happening? And is clearly worried that this could lead to more attacks. So is now going to place more walls here. Um, that's going to take way longer than just building the house there. But Red doesn't really know. And this game is hard, guys. This game is hard. Okay, where are you going here, Red? Okay, so now Red clicks the villager to the wall. And that was just a random scout from Blue. So Blue's not even interested in attacking. Got it. 
All right. Notice how Blue's mind works here, though, because, again, in a normal game, you place one mill, and it's normally on berries. But in this case, Blue did the right thing and placed a mill on shorefish. You can tell that Blue got here through a lot of practice because Blue is now not thinking, oh, I actually need a little bit more food. Let's just place a mill on the berries. Okay. Scout there attacking the villager. Red's going to try and save the villager, but in the process is going to let the scout back inside the walls, which is going to be very upsetting for all the people that are still in here. Now, guys, that hole has made a big difference here because Blue, when Blue did the little scout arounds, scouted the strategy from the Saracen player. Zero on food right now for Red. Red really needs to use the Saracen market. Like, really needs to sell some wood and buy some food, possibly. But yeah, so Blue knows my opponent's gonna go archers. Great. And Blue is stonewalled already. And Blue's on stone with the Hindustanis. And the Hindustanis have a great anti-archer unit. Blue's in an amazing position. And Blue's gonna get Wheelbarrow for now and eventually click up to Castle. What about Red? What, what's Red game? What has his game been like? Okay, scouted a little bit. Hasn't scouted a ton and then obviously lost the scout. And is now walling here too. Okay. Interesting. Probably hard for Red to figure out what was happening. The archers are on the move though. Fletching is in. That's a lot of army and Blue's still not even on the way to Castle Age. The scout is now attacking, and I think Red just keeps thinking, like, God, like, my walls aren't complete. Like, how does he keep getting in? That is going to be the third kill in this game, though, for Blue. He's killed two villagers and killed the scout. And hasn't had to create a lot to really make that happen, right? Okay. I'm personally, my mind is still very much on that whole fish trap situation. I feel like if Red had the fin straps, Red would have the food to go Castle Age right now. Red's ready to move out. Blue's getting cav armor right now. But he's also getting infantry armor, so might want to make some camels and also some golems. And now we've got another scout attacking Red Villager, and that's going to be Villager number three that goes down to one scout. Red doesn't really seem to value his economy as much as other people. Deleting fish traps and also losing villagers. But here we go. Saracen archers. Panic time. Panic time. No, you can do it. Red didn't think he could do it. He saw the house wall probably and just figured he must be fully protected. That's actually the weakest point. And now Red's going to attack the stable. This is not Red intentionally attacking these things, I don't think. This is just the units automatically attacking something when Red moves them there. Red is on the way to Castle Age and has a lot of crossbowmen. And lost another Ville! Blue's being a little nerd, though, man. Blue even pulled that back. And... <laughs> oh, another wall. Oh, God. <laughs> it's already walled, Red. <laughs> oh, I have a thousand words for this, but I'll only say two of them. That's unfortunate. Oh, jeez. All right. So now these villagers are on the other side of the walls, and now they're stuck. And Red's still got more work. I mean, Blue has played very clean. Killed a lot of eco with very few scouts, and is building up towards the next options. Is going to drop a second town center. Yeah, had Red committed after one of these buildings with Saracens, the building would have been down already. Red would be running in, and I think Blue really needs to force down a castle. I don't think Blue really realizes how fast this stuff is going down with the Saracens. And okay, now these villagers are running over here. 25 on gold for red. Oh my goodness. I could need to turn market events back on. Oh yeah, he used the market all right. Oh god, Blue, what do you do? Ah! What's happening? Red run through. Blue, don't place it there. Make siege. Don't house wall out archers. They have range, man. Oh. You know if my falsetto comes out that there's a problem. Oh, sheesh. Oh, boy. All right. Well, if this doesn't sum up low elo for you, I don't know what does. Hey, Red. Hey, go back. Go back. Just stay where you were. 
You don't need to move. You're fine. This is a donation. This is a Christmas gift. Just don't... No. Ah, 800 ELO. I love you. I love you so much. But you're so much better than you give yourself credit for. Red could have denied the whole castle, but instead he dives in now. It becomes a very different game. That's my... The way I describe that is the anti-micro micro. Meanwhile, we have two like have, and they have been killing things over here. Does red know about it? Nope. Does blue know about it? I don't know. This game is really difficult. It's super messy here. Red's got the lead. Blue, however, has golems on the way. And that is just a super tough unit to stop if you're making archers. Wow. Credit to blue here. Is blue got a lot of value? from very little with the scout line. And you can tell why red wants the wall up because it's been a real issue for red. Now red didn't research Bod Canero, by the way. So he does not, he's not doing plus two attack. He went for armor instead. And these golems are gonna mop this up. The, the crossbows have no chance. And I think red has no chance any longer in this game now. Has fully committed to archers. The golem's just a unit you cannot stop now. And while blue is way behind in economy, I think that once blue takes the map control, blue can sort this out. Lol, disgusting sieve. They take no damage. Zero. 11 OP. Okay. And this is going to be followed by a resign, I imagine. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Well, listen. Let me tell you what does take damage. Villagers building a castle. Doesn't matter if there was, uh, you know, if blue had 25 million resources, except for stone, couldn't make another castle. Let's just imagine that scenario. If that castle doesn't go up, he never gets the unit, man. So red, you were there. You had it. You absolutely had it. Just like the classic situation of, I feel like I need to do something all the time. So let's move when I don't necessarily need to. You leave your units here, that castle never goes up. The game's over. Blue has already lost so many villagers. But I think he, he was thinking, I need to micro. I need to click. I need to do this and that. And that's why the movement happened. Uh, I think you just put your units on stand ground to just hope for the best there, right? If you know that unit's disgusting, then I think you should prioritize stopping him from getting said unit. Now, another thing, and this could have been a misclick from Red... Uh, because of the stress of the situation, but Bod Canero over armor is the way to go. Um, because Bod Canero gives you extra attack and extra range. It's possible that Red researched armor by mistake, but armor on archer units is not the play there. You want to go for the attack. Do I agree that Ghoulams are like a, a really crazy unit? For sure. Do I agree that Hindustanis have some balance problems and... That's why I'm adding an extra ban for Titans League Silver 2. So maybe we don't have that discussion as much. For sure. Do I think that this had anything to do with balance? Not really. <laughs> this comes down to, to gameplay. And it always does at low elo, guys. As much as you might be like need to cope by blaming it on a sieve, the reality is you got to look yourself in the mirror in the majority of your losses. I know there are some situations and some matchups where you can point to the sieve, but realistically, there's always something that you, I'm talking about you, the player, could have done a little bit differently. So um, that, that applies to me as well, to be honest. I want to be clear on that. It's not just, I'm not just speaking to my low elo players and my mid elo players. I, I cope as well too, blaming sieves, right? Um, that's just how we humans work sometimes. But red, like... Deleting the fish, tra fish traps, losing five villagers to a starting scout. Uh, th again, th there's just a couple things there that aren't just the civilization. Probably not having his best day. I'll see if he actually gave GG to his opponent there. I think Sinister Monster played pretty well. Sinister Monster is a lesson that's going to be learned there. Is do not underestimate Saracen Archers against houses because... I'm pretty sure Blue thought, oh, I can drop the town center here and take my time with my castle. And if Red would have played that properly, that game was over. Um, someone says, whenever I lose, it's because my sieve is bad. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep. Whenever you lose, it's because your sieve is bad. But whenever you win, it's because you're a good player, right? That's how it always works. <laughs>
Oh, jeez. Come on, let's see. Did he... Red, at least give your opponent the GG afterwards. No GG! <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. Liked your username. Thought your commitment to archers was pretty good. But be a little better than that. Come on, man.